Hey guys, it's uh, Mathel here once again, and today I'm uh, on beta, as I have been for the past couple of weeks, and I'm going to do some discussion and more or less showcase a bit of Ice Crash action, which is the new skill that was launched with the patch three days ago now, I believe. And uh, it's melee based, it's an AoE, and it's quite a lot of fun if you have not yet tried it out. So, what it looks like is that. It's just one hit, and I would liken it very much to something like Vile Ground Slam. Vile Ground Slam basically just does an AoE around your character, you get to charge it off once, and it's a pretty heavy hitting AoE. So this is very similar to, in that sense, except you can't link this to multi-strike, you can only attack it once at a time, so slam, slam, slam. You have to do all the work yourself in that sense. So if we take a look at the actual gem itself, level 28 is when you can first use it. It's got a fairly high mana cost, but that's offset by the fact that it has less attack speed, so you don't hit it that much, and you don't have to link it to something like multi-strike. So all in all, the mana cost on my falling right now is 33. That's a fairly yeah, heavy costing one, with you know 140%, 140%, and 120. 33, I can sustain that on Mana Leech, and my mana pool will get better and uh, bigger as I go. Or if you really want to make it comfortable, especially once you start getting to the 5 and 6 link stage, you might invest a couple of points in mana. So what the skill does, 160% of base attack damage. So that'll be the very first hit you make, the inside circle. Because um, so second hit deals 15% less damage, half your damage is split to cold, and 25% less attack speed. So basically it hits three times. The inner circle, the outer circle, and the most outer circle. But it doesn't actually ever hit anything three times. All this means is that whatever, wherever a monster is standing is what circle he's going to get hit by. So if something is standing in the inner circle, it's taking as much damage as possible, but it's only taking one hit. Whereas uh, if it's standing on the outer circle, so, you know, when you go out and start clearing stuff, something standing on the outer circle, it takes the least amount of damage, but it still gets hit that one time. So, in essence, um, you want to be hitting with the you know, central target as much as possible, the central circle, and having more AoE will increase your circle sizes, so that will be beneficial for hitting as hard as possible with your um, hardest hitting circle. I guess you could say. AoE scales pretty well with the skill, from what I've seen. Um, right now I only have 20% from the Templar area, and it seems to go quite a long way. Um, the base range is just a bit smaller than this, but even without any AoE it still feels pretty good. But I would recommend, probably on a 5th link, maybe the 6th link to get increased area gem. On top of that, you can then get concentrated effects um, when you just want to swap it in for bosses for heavier damage. Right now, I have Ice Crash linked to Melee Physical. That scales the entire gem up pretty well. Weapon elemental damage, pretty huge, especially when you factor in Hatred, Herald of Ash, and the fact that 50% of your damage goes to cold. And on top of that, it synergizes really well with added fire. Ice Crash itself right now has a tooltip DPS, which is 19.6k. It doesn't have tooltip damage. If you want to see that, you go to the Offense tab, click on Ice Crash. And you can see we are hitting for about 7 to 18k per hit. But I am crit based with starves. My chance to crit, hit, not that great yet. I'm still only level 70, building this character up. But um, I wanted to play around with crit starves to begin with. With this skill, I think the easiest way of going about it will be a Resolute Technique build. Just scale as much damage percent as you can. Pick pick a weapon, I'm pretty sure any one of these three will work. And then scale just flat damage and attack speed and whatever as much as you can. But with this build, I've decided to go crit, hit hard, hit once, essentially. So... Um... I'm not focusing too much on attack speed, just kind of run in, slam once, everything dies, move on with your life. You can alternatively build for attack speed if you go for a sword build and just slam many times. You can go one-handers as well. I think the skill is rather versatile. Um, 
two so just just to give you an example you can probably do everything with this um, any type of build with this skill you can go for two hand crit swords with the new crit swords um, I'm not going to post any other passive trees but I'll just um, let you know that I think two hand crit swords will work two hand RT uh, resolute technique um, maces will go pretty well axes will go well and swords will go well especially with a doom saw that should synergize pretty well um, one hand crit mace, so it will be very similar to my ground slam build. Uh, you could get a Dorianis, maybe even dual Dorianis. I think that would be really cool with this skill. Um, one hand crit swords, that's also possible I think. But uh, I think it's it's basically just a go-to melee skill now. Just like Static Strike, probably a bit stronger than Static Strike in my opinion, just because it's so instant compared to Static Strike, as well as the fact that you do such a large amount of cold damage, it kinda is just a big defense. So I did have Fortify linked to my Ice Crash early on, but I decided I could get rid of that because you just end up um, kinda not needing it because you don't get hit that much if you play it the right way. One of the things I do kind of want though is um, Unwavering Stance, so I might get some Combs Boots, Calms Boots, excuse me, or get into Unwavering Stance because getting stunned on this build sucks. Like, you hit pretty slow, if something stuns you before that, you're kind of screwed. So, one other thing I will mention, um, <coughs> every time the skill levels you get 2% extra base attack damage, as you can see, 160 up to 190 at level 16. And the quality from Ice Crash is a bit of extra cold damage, like 1 or 2% cold damage, something like that. So it's kind of, it's worth getting the quality, but it's not, you know, game changing or game breaking or anything. So I'll just leave you with some gameplay footage and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Starting off here with a clip of um, end of Act 4 Cruel, I do believe. Uh, staff is uh, fairly decent. Uh, I think I'm due for an upgrade though at this point. In any case, just uh, running around doing some pretty good damage on uh, packs of monsters, so it's pretty comfortable clearing. And uh, as you can see, I use Glacial Hammer for a single target sometimes. I think if you actually prioritize a enough links for the Glacial Hammer, it'll be a better single target, so keep that in mind. For this one, we have just hit Merciless. I just upgraded my staff, and um, I'm doing the Crab Quest. Um, everything's dying pretty much instant at this point, and the DPS feels great yet again. I do believe I just about one-shot the crab at this point. My crit is rather low though, something like 30%, so that leaves a lot to be desired. But the end game build will probably only have about 60%, I'm so about halfway there. Here we have an example of a box opening with this skill, which um, is really effective, just like Vile Ground Slam. Just hit City of Sun, uh, steamrolling through this zone pretty comfortably as well. Everything's going well still, DPS still holds up, and it has not dropped off much throughout the leveling process. We have the uh, mini boss here, take care of him pretty comfortably. Just a solid example of what a Massive Shrine would do to the skill, and probably what the endgame skill is going to look like. Massive Shrine... Oh my god, that's massive. This is the goal, basically. I think I will end up using Increased AoE as one of my links, and it will... it's gonna look something like this. Income. It's going pretty well, thanks. And lastly, I have a uh, Aqueducts run with a basically an Aura bot. Um, this guy wanted to group, and uh, I decided to give him a go. And yeah, it's really effective. So it gives you a taste of what. Um, what kind of 
the faster play, uh, the faster paced gameplay will give you in the end game once you're a bit more geared up and all that. But um, yeah, you wouldn't normally have this much attack speed, I don't think. Not quite, since he's running pretty much permaval haste. Um, but yeah, it's pretty quick and uh, gives you a bit of a taste of the gameplay. So enjoy. I thought that said sell out bow. I don't know why. But I quickly read it as sell out bow. Maybe we've got selling out on the mind. I don't raise, no. I'd probably enjoy it, to be honest. It's probably something I'd watch. But Game of Thrones fans are some of the most annoying people on this planet, and it has prompted me to not watch Game of Thrones. I know, it's pretty hipster and douchey of me, but... Fuck it. That's what you people have done to me. This hardcore? No. I like the brutal ones too. What else am I supposed to say? I haven't gotten around to it. It's been like four years or some shit. If you wanted to watch it, you'd watch it. What happened to all the transmitters? I'm taking a break.